with a proud tradition dating back to 1938, the Stella Zura Basketball Academy's philosophy prioritizes long-term player development over short-term gains, an approach that has allowed over 50 former pupils to play in the top leagues across Europe and the NBA. We always wanted to do things differently, not focus on trying to impress people, but to put the focus firmly on our players. They are supported by a team of psychologists and tutors who help them with their studies, as well as the rigors of going through our orientation process, so they can adjust and succeed in our programs. Benefiting from the Blue Stars program is Serbian under-18s international Lazar Nikolic, who arrived at 13 and is now four years later being recruited to play college basketball in America. I came to Stella Zora Basketball Academy four years ago because this was the best opportunity to continue improving my basketball skills and also continuing to go to school. They helped me first by learning to live by myself, learning to do all the things by myself which was a big step for a, for a young guy like me. And obviously later came like, uh, my body, physical work, basketball skills and everything. We practice three hours per day and the rest of the day we use it to study in practice. We do uh, gym work, we do weights or coordination, we can do speed, uh, athletics. Then in basketball we work very much on fundamentals like dribbling, passing, shooting, and uh, in the team part we work uh, of strategies we are going to use in games. It's a really good experience, I love it. Basketball is family. Here in Stella Azura is particular because uh, inside my academy there are uh, this season 15 different countries. So if you stay here you will be part of the world immediately. You are in the center of Rome but you live in the world because you can speak in English, in French, in Arabic, in Russia, in Indian. So it's an unbelievable place. The academy revamped the way it operates by bringing in specialized coaches for weight training, footwork and shooting, as well as sports scientists to bring in a more analytical approach to player development. The aim is to utilize the latest technology to achieve greater results in a shorter period of time. In the lab, we train the visual capabilities of our athletes, creating a series of tests with the goal of improving their peripheral vision, their ability to focus on a specific target, and their motor skills. We do this because we have proven that the better an athlete sees the target, in this case a basketball, the more precise their movement and motor skills will be. The clearer you see the target, the better your ability to perform the task. The Stella Zura Basketball Academy is trying to, to take that the next step. Technology is a big part of, of our improvement and the results are amazing. It's kind of new, so, so it's really interesting and you, you like to do it. When I came here, I just used to throw the ball with both of the hands, I used today. And they said that you have to shoot just with one hand and you have to ball should be rotated versus you. They told me that to stop your hand, left hand here, and just shoot with. Now it's rolling well and I scored a lot. I have to work on how I move my feet because I'm still slow. And that's difficult for me because everybody's gonna play against me and they're gonna score. But I'm practicing on that, so I'm doing some exercises with like footwork every day and now I'm becoming good. I'm, I'm better than before. I think a student must be very curious and must also listen. I don't think other things are essential. We don't require a particularly high IQ or a specific ability to slam dunk 30 times in 30 seconds. We think that a student can arrive here at a certain level, spend some time training and working on their game, and make huge strides in their ability to play basketball. We don't set limits, but if an athlete isn't curious, if he doesn't have the passion and hunger to grow and isn't coachable, I don't think he can succeed here. Non possa sopravvivere.